Hi, I'm Lizzie Hopley and I'm going to try and make the nurse puppet. These are the things I found that I think might help me. I have a wooden spoon, um, uh, some string, some bits and pieces that I might be able to stick on her and some ribbon. I've also found a bit of material uh, to make some clothes perhaps. I've also found that this might be um, a useful thing. They're skewers that you'd make kebabs out of and we've never used them. So I'm thinking I might make a rod puppet. Here goes. Let's okay, see. update. This is what she's looking like so far. Um, kitchen roll. Ideal pinny, uh, but I went for the top as well as the, the bottom bit because if I, I had the bottom bit to start with and she looked more like a waitress. Um, I've gone for this. This fabric makes her look a little bit kind of maternal, a bit of a friendly look. I don't want to go too hospitally with the, the pinny and the nurse thing because she is supposed to be well my character anyway my character for the nurse is a bit kind of um more of a, a maternal comforting cheerful figure because Juliet doesn't have that in her life she does have arms uh just in case you're worrying I've got arms but we're just waiting for the glue to dry and I'm going to try and attach them with these paper fastener things to get the kind of hinge effect for the rods to go on to that's the plan I'd just like to draw your attention to the devastation on the table and update in a second glue dry and here she is Ta -da! all right this is just a preliminary shot to show you how the um, the arms are working on the rod puppet. So there's two going on there. Da 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 da. Oh. Um, two little paper fasteners there. One of them is on a little wheel, so I can kind of um, adjust it. I could have done like another one there to split the arm, kind of give her a few more joints, but um, obviously didn't have enough time. Look how, what difference the hair makes as well. Really happy with that. And she can also, hold on one second. Bum, 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 bear with me. Change expression. Honestly, the face I drew to start with was so bad. Um, so I basically just created lots of different faces for her to have different expressions. So there's a few more of those to come. And um, then we'll get our little scene going. I'm rather pleased with her. She's got a twig. Um, we, we don't want to talk about that, do we? No, 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 no. All right, I'll practice. <clears throat> and since that time, it is 11 years, for then she could stand high alone. Nay, by the road, she could have run and waddled all about. For even the day before, she broke her brow. And then my husband, God be with his soul, I was a merry man, took up the child. Yea, quoth he, dost thou fall upon thy face? Thou wilt fall backward. Oh, and when thou hast more wit, will thou not jewel? And by my holy damn, the pretty wench left crying and said, I, to see now how a jest shall come about. <coughs> <laughs> oh. Just going to take a bow there for our incredible performance. Um, that's, yeah, you can stop now. You can stop now. Um, the magic of puppetry. Uh, so that was a little section of Romeo and Juliet. I've never read that nurse's speech out loud before. That was sight reading. And the minute you read a bit of Shakespeare out loud, as it was meant to be performed, even if you don't know what all the words mean and you don't know what the characters are talking about, especially if you watch it back. That's the first time I've actually watched any of it back. And of course, it wasn't me. It was it was her doing it. So it wasn't looking at me. Um, it was interesting to see it coming from someone else, something else. And I understood what it meant. I understood what it meant. And that was... Um, yeah, that was a really good exercise. I hope you've had as much fun making your nurse. Maybe you go on to do other characters and make some model boxes as well because, yeah, this stuff is fun. It is meant to be performed even by a wooden spoon. <laughs> Another bow. Okay, bye-bye.